Hello, welcome back. Last time I found a weird, fiddly, awkward, crazy solution for a room that was otherwise pretty cool. <laughs> and got some other stuff done too. Uh, all of this south row, pretty much. Uh, I've landed in here, let's see what this is about. We have a bunch of serpents, some tar stuff. Bombs. Bombs can blow up serpents. Uh, entire room is lined with this. Why does that matter? Uh, with this particular tar stuff formation, I can create a serpent killing spot. It'd be best if it were to the north. So that's the best one, I think. I don't need to use the bombs. Challenge. Use no bombs. Not actually that much of a challenge, honestly. Hey, look at that. Uh, oh, hold on. I have to clear the tar stuff. My mistake. I didn't realize. Okay, so... Um, what's that going to take? If I would do it this way, how well would that go? That makes that unclearable. So what are my options? Uh, I have to blow some up using the bombs. Got it. Okay. Uh, that's no problem then. And I don't see... this This room seems excessively simple. Uh, just should be a little bit careful about how I cut that to make sure that... Yeah, I guess the one little challenge here is that um, I make sure I don't make the tar uncuttable in... Oops, I'm going the wrong way about that. Actually, yeah, I do want to get rid of this serpent first. You come here. And then go there, somehow. How will I cause you to do that? Like this? Yes. Come here, go there. Go here, go there. Perfect. You do the same. Okay, here's the trick. This bomb's gotta kill this serpent, I think. Um, Cause yeah, I need that target to open. Yeah, that tar gate has to open, and... Okay, you're going to do that forever, unless I go somewhere else. Uh, I can remove all of this. Or as much as I can, at least. And as much of this as I can. Serpents, come here. Go upward. There we go. You come here, you go there. Come here, go there. Okay, so now. I've done this wrong. Okay, here's the trick. This has to be... I have to light this bomb. This has to be already gone because the target has to open okay 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 so kind of a hidden linchpin here so i definitely need to cut the tar down from that side uh yeah and i do still need to make a spot to kill those things that's the only one that really no no this one matters too since i have to light this bomb so i have to cut it down from this side too okay this is trickier than I gave it credit for. That means... In order to make this happen, I've probably already kind of messed it up. Yeah, because that's not a cuttable formation, is it? Well, what does that mean, then? Because I need... I need to kill these serpents somehow. Here's a spot. That's much better. Don't mess with the tar. There is a way better place to do that. Uh, but again, I've made this uncuttable, right? Yeah, that's a problem. So I... I have to do what? So if that becomes uncuttable... Can I do... I can't do both of those. 
So yeah, the idea I had was I would light this one and it would explode this and this. Then sometime later, this and this. By the time... Okay, so hang on. Let's learn something real quick. This is going to be slightly a pain to do. With these all over the place. Go away. I need to light that fuse. There are no checkpoints in this room. Ouch. 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 Light that fuse. Get away. What I want to see is the relative timing of um, when these two go off. That one does go one turn earlier. So yes, that is fine. Okay. Cool. So I can have an extra blob here, here, and here, and still have this bomb kill the serpent. Okay. Sounds good to me. So eliminate all those. Eliminate as much of this as I can. Much of this as I can. Oops. Let's do that a little better. Great. Kill serpents. Everybody come out all at once. <laughs> Not the best idea, but you know what? That's what I've decided to do. Go north. Go north. You're dying. Good. Everybody else, also go north. Come here. Go that. No. Go there somehow. There we go. Got you. He'll switch to horizontal at some point, uh, which won't actually allow me to do that. Because I could not step east. Vertical, vertical, horizontal, there we go. Perfect, almost, good enough. There we go, and you. Go there. You're shorter, which makes it slightly harder. Okay, now, light this fuse, everything takes care of itself, pretty much. Set the tar babies. Okay, done. That's putting back around to here. I'm gonna bother to actually go ahead and do this room, since I'm here. And I just sort of left it dangling. So you. Uh, got Roach Queens, Wubba's, and a Tar Mother. And trapdoors. Gotta drop trapdoors after the room is clear. Okay, so what's the trick? The trick is Wubba's are going to be jerks. And make it impossible to get back from this trapdoor unless I have... What? Can't be Roach Queens or Roaches. I can't really get those wubbas out, so this seems like a problem. I can't grow the tar out of this enclosure. I can create roach, uh, tar babies. Uh, got it. I clear the room, then I create tar babies. After the green door is open, then I use those to help me with the wubbas. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I should kill some roaches first. I should have done that first thing, because I needed to let that tar grow anyway. Oh boy. Bad situations have occurred. Go away. That's enough. Kill you. There we go. So I have Blob of Tar that can become Tar Babies. Somehow those are going to help me with the Wubbas. I'm not actually sure how yet. Uh, I have an idea though. So my instinct is to... I should only need two for this. Maybe even just one. Um, let's bring both. 
this won't exactly work. For one thing, because of turn order. I can't get those to come in here exactly. Can I? That would just kill me. Actually, how will this work? So... There's definitely no way to get those Wubbas out in that arrangement. In order to get one out, it would have to be here. In order to get one here, b would have to be trapped in there. Somehow the Tar Babies need to be ahead of b in such a way that they block Wubbas from moving. Uh, idea? If I were facing north and had two of them behind me like this, maybe? That's what I need. Perfect. Okay. Good. Got it. That was cool. Okay, so back this way. One serpent, one blob of tar. That looks simple. Except that serpent can't get out, so I need a tar baby to come... I think I need to fill this with tar babies, maybe? That's my inclination. How will that happen? Because, yeah, I need to be here, lure one that newly is created somehow in here. How will that happen? Hmm. Okay, so... That's tricky. Hmm. With no obstacles, I can't create tar babies. From just tar alone. Oh, without stabbing. Stabbing's the only way. I can't light that fuse. Can't have the tar grow out of that. So yeah, how would I possibly pack tar babies in there and then get around them? Maybe I have the wrong idea. Hmm. So, okay, here's a thing I can can do. I got a tar baby in there. Oh boy. <laughs> and I can't exactly repeat that process because he's just going to get out when I do this. It feels like what this wants me to do is to, say, have a tar blob over here, run along it with my sword like this or something, and create a bunch of tar babies and pack them in there, but that doesn't make any sense. It's the other way around. Huh. This is odd. Oh, hey, this room. <laughs> so what, kill those with a timer? Mud baby is gonna come and kill me. That's a problem. Okay, so instead of that, maybe I use the mud for safety somehow. Which I can do. Or yeah, just go this way. I should have faced another way. This won't work. Unless I'm supposed to fight like this, which is not ever going to go anywhere good. Oh. That can happen, though. Okay. I'll take the happy accidents. This is slightly excessive. <laughs> I think maybe, like, ten tar babies could have gotten that point across. Not sure it had to be that many. Okay, well that's done. So... So what have I missed here? Oh, I know what I've missed. What I've missed is that 
I can tuck tar babies into a shape inside the tar stuff. Like, for example, I can create a little bucket for them up here. It's going to be awkward. Um, I think I can kind of imagine how it'll work, though. And this will be self-healing. Okay, here. Heal yourself, or just restart. So I'm going to do this. And in fact, I'll kill you. See, something kind of like this, only it's going to have to be way... Oh, hold on. A tar baby can help create more tar babies. This is going to be an incredibly slow way to do this if I do it this way. But you know what? I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, this will work fine. Tar baby will help create more tar babies. <laughs> Actually, that didn't work. Um, let's see. How do I make it work better? Well, that won't. Okay, so something like that. This is going to be kind of silly. This is basically what I already did. This reminds me of some stuff from Secluded Sanctum. Whoa, I need to move faster for that to work. That's fine. Actually, if I just put a tar baby in an indentation like that, that could be something good. So turn order's gonna do that. Sure. Now, I mean, the awkward thing is, I think I need something like this. Uh, well, I mean, I can pull some of these out and kill them if I want. I guess. I mean, I, I packed some in there. <laughs> uh, oh, this is... Awkward. Um, yeah, this is very awkward. Well, this is going to be a slow, pro slow process if I do it this way. And in fact, this won't even work. Because I lose my... Okay, so I have to create a tar baby factory with this kind of setup. How will I do that? Alright, so I have to think about tar geometry here. It would be best if I could be to the east of that and have it still work. But I can't imagine how I would set up something like that. Like, there would be some sort of way I could just carve a little bit in here. Just wait a moment and see what happens. So he'll grow like that and create that tar baby, of course. Uh, okay. See, I'm trying to picture, like, what could I do to this corner to make it continually make more tar babies? The new tar babies would flow to the southeast, but the trapped one, which is making the mechanism work, would stay here. I don't... Th oh... Yeah, I see how that would work. Okay, so let's see if I can carve this shape. I want a shape like... Um, like... Not quite like that. Very similar to the... Yeah, okay, so... This would be good, except the problem is the tar is going to grow over this area. Because, like, I'm thinking tar baby here, new tar babies grow there. But yeah, no, the tar just grows up there. Uh, I guess I could time it. Alright, let's make a tar factory. Let's see how that does. Oops. Um, 
Doesn't matter. Sure, you can do that. So that created a new baby there, but that's not good enough. Because then it's just going to grow like that. Hmm. this particularly working. Right? That seems very unlikely. So I can do that. But then, like, to get that guy anywhere, that one has to move out. And this is extremely slow. Okay. How else could that be shaped? See, the thing is, in order to create a pocket shaped like this, um, due to tar geometry, that necessarily means a too wide space on the right, and that necessarily means that the tar can keep growing out of there. So, yeah, shapes like this just don't seem to work because they'll grow over themselves in this kind of area. Not with a fuse there, you know, but like, like that. Or at least they're not completely stable with Beethra standing here and everything just happening. Uh... Hmm. But I, I feel like I have the right idea generally, just I need to execute it differently somehow. Yes, yeah, something shaped a lot like that, but not exactly that. Or could it be exactly this? Maybe it could be, because if I just wait... I mean, I can grow... Like, maybe this will work. I can do that. Can I get enough of these in without completely emptying the thing that I make progress? I think so. Yeah, that will continue to work. Okay. This will be slow, but it will work. This is another one of those rooms where I'm definitely going to have to check demos afterward. Uh, just one tar baby up there is enough. Oh, but... I have problems. Because I need to pack these in somehow now and get all the way over here. So you know what? This probably is not actually good enough. Oh, and I do need more than one tar baby there to keep that growth down. So, okay. Let's wait, wait for this. That guy lets those slide, and that's cool. Let's just see how long I can keep this up. So I packed that in, I do that, let those slide. I only gained one tar baby right here. I can't go that far over because I end up with just one. Yeah, no, I feel, well, um, if this keeps stacking up, actually, here's what I do. I wait right here and I ma keep manufacturing tar so that it doesn't have to go anywhere else. Here we go. Here we go. That seems to work. Okay, this is silly and slow. Yeah, again, this is a room where I will definitely have to check demos. And you know what? I think this might break down right about here. Nope. <laughs> wow. This is fascinating. Uh, too far. Mm, yeah, too far. 
fill it all the way up. Ooh, that's not the best. Um, but okay, so here's what I can do. I can wait until 29 before I do this. That created another tar baby, which kept that stable. Great. Turn order is a little funky here. Like, stuff happens that doesn't make the most sense. Always. Okay, great. Oh, hey, guess what? I have way more than enough. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I got so interested in extending that pattern all the way over to here that I didn't realize I could have bored way earlier. <laughs> okay, well, that was super cool. Fancy tar tricks. Oh boy. <sighs> Gonna have to do better than that. Okay. Pretty nifty. So 1,800 moves. What's top demo look like? 125. <laughs> How? So create that many, go down here, and they just, like magic, slide through there. <laughs> I feel like that's not in the spirit of the room, but then again, maybe I just did it wrong. Because I didn't feel like that really used tar growth. That just cut the tar, mostly. Maybe it grew once. Okay, well that's how I did that. <laughs> that might have been another case like this room where I did something unnecessarily hard. <laughs> but that's what I did. Um, hmm. Ah, I know what this is. This is a use decoys to attract the guard uh, across the thingy so that he doesn't fall in the pit, basically. And then now that he's looking at me, he can kill that roach. Uh, here. Do that, please. Yes. Okay. Simple. That's pretty cool. Because, yeah, I saw right away that I could have him stab that row of roaches. Then I saw that one, and then I immediately knew what to do. Okay. So where am I in the level, overall? This is the only required room I know about that I haven't solved. Uh, are there any paths leading off that I haven't taken? I don't think so. I think that's the whole level. That's nothing... Yeah, okay, so... That room that I did not get. I guess I'll go back and look at it again. Because, like, all of these others have had... Oops, a Force Arrow there. All of these others, pretty much, have had a trick that lets them be pretty much trivialized if I see the trick. I just haven't seen the trick for that room yet. I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes there, see if I see the trick. If not, I'm going to have to come do it another day. Because that seems to be the last thing preventing me from exiting this level. So, I know what this is about. It is heavily implied that the idea is to get guards to stab walls. But I don't know how to do that. Here's an idea. Have a guard looking at a decoy there. If his attention is on that, then he turns his attention to me. Uh, I put it in the wrong place. I need that in a place where Bethro can overlap the decoy's area of influence. So if you look there, and you need to move before that happens, that's not... It's funny I never tried this approach before. It doesn't seem to be working. 
maybe if I used a more northern sort of approach. Something like this. Guard looks at the decoy. Then I spin him around. Nope. Nope, that does not work. Could it work if there were a bunch of tar babies packed in there? Hmm. That doesn't help me for killing this last evil eye either, though. But maybe I can use similar tricks for both some... Oh, maybe! Okay, is there a spot where the decoy can influence both guards? There is. So that's encouraging. There are plenty of spots like that. So what if I spend some time with the god? Hmm. hmm. Oops. Don't know where I think I'm going with this yet. Just gonna see what happens here. So you look at that, and then you look at me. But I can't move you off of that column now particularly easily. Yeah. This particular experimentation is not leading me to the insight I need for this room. Okay, so anyway, I've spent a bunch of time in this room already. I think I need to just figure this out on my own because I haven't gotten anywhere. There's a trick to it that I'm not seeing. There are a lot of different elements in it, and they're probably going to have to fit together in a very precise way. So yeah, I'll figure this out on my own if I have time somehow, sometime. <laughs> Come back with a solution, and then that'll be a level clear, I think. Unless I missed a path somewhere. Alright, cool. See you then.